In any debate between two people, it's easy to take sides. But what if it's not black and white? We hear a lot about Israels and Palestinians, or about Jews and Arabs, but what about the Druze, or the Samaritans, or even indigenous Christians in the land of Israel? The question we need to ask ourselves is if everyone has the right of self-determination, how many homelands should there be? The concept of a two-state solution assumes that if Israel is given to the Jews and Palestine to the Arabs, each will have a homeland and there will be peace. I think one of the things that we need to think about is, does that mean that peace can only come when no one is a minority anymore? Should we, shouldn't we care about the Christian Arab villages in the West Bank, for instance? Bethlehem has been home to Christians for nearly 2,000 years. And in the late 1800s, visitors at the time estimated that the Christian population would be around 90%. In 1995, when Israel handed this West Bank city to the Palestinian Authority, the Arab Christian population had recovered to around 80%. But now it's well below 20% and falling. And when you go to Gaza, the population is even far smaller. What is the best solution for all the minority groups in the land? Do we solve discrimination or racism by keeping people who are different separated from each other? The question is, how can children learn to treat all people as precious to God if they do not get the opportunity to know them, to play, to study alongside them, and ultimately to share a homeland together? The state of Israel is the only country in the Middle East where minority Christian population is growing. And it's not just them, the Druze, the Bedouins, Baha'is, Samaritans, and of course, Israeli Arabs, they are all respected members of Israeli society. Ever since the state was founded, Jews have fled or migrated from countries all around the world. So we have Indian Jews, Russian Jews, Ethiopian Jews, Black Hebrews from elsewhere in Africa, Ashkenazi Jews from Northern Europe, Sephardi Jews from Spain, and Mizrahi Jews from North Africa and the Arab world. Like with any other melting pot in the world, there can be tensions and there will be tensions, but diversity is a core part of what it means to be Israeli. In Numbers 15 verses 15 to 16, the scripture says, as you are, so shall the foreigner be before the Lord. There is to be one law and one ordinance for you and for the foreigner who sojourns with you. Jesus perfectly lived out this Jewish ideal. He was courageous in his love for the outcasts of society, lepers, prostitutes, tax collectors, and sinners. He told the famous parable of the Good Samaritan because in his own day, the Jewish majority despised Samaritans. The idea that a Samaritan would risk his own life to care for a Jew half dead in the ditch was a reversal of stereotypes as it were. This was the hero to be admired, imitated, because he reached out beyond bitterness and chose to overcome evil with good. Inspired by Jewish and Christian values, the Balfour Declaration of 1917 and the San Remo De Resolution of 1920 both envisaged a Jewish national home that would also protect the civil and religious rights of existing non-Jewish minorities, plural. And that is precisely what Israeli law insists upon. Only in the Jewish homeland are all other minorities protected under law. However, good Israel, as good as Israeli law may be, no government is perfect, no, no person is perfect, and discrimination and racism still exist. But you can help support those who serve their country by being a voice for the voiceless, protecting the civil rights and religious freedoms of all minorities in accordance with Israeli law. The Jerusalem Institute of Justice will use your donations to give free legal aid to minorities. And if you are a law student, you could even go and intern with them. At the same time, you can stand with your brothers and sisters in Bethlehem, Christian Arabs who courageously choose to show love and respect to their Muslim authorities, as well as the state of Israel. The First Baptist Church in Bethlehem is serving the needs of families and youth of all backgrounds, providing startup funds for new businesses, and living out the message of Jesus wholeheartedly.